I think the other thing to really think about um, is the balance of power. Oftentimes bullies um, wield a lot of power. And one of the things you can do, research has shown, is to try to alter the balance of power. And that doesn't mean you get a promotion over them, you go report them, although that might, might be something you do. But really, can you show them that they need you in some way? Do you have a piece of knowledge or information that they rely on you for? Um, is there a skill that you have that you contribute to the team that no one else has? Because I think reminding the bully that they don't have this sort of sort of unfettered power that you that you do you also have play a critical role can be one way to alter the dynamic. Right. The other quick tip I'll share um, is also you can have something what I sort of refer to as the meta conversation. And you might even say something as simple as, you know, the way we've been working on the project hasn't really been working for me. I, I, I get the sense you feel the same way. Do you want to talk about the way we work together? Now, that's a that conversation takes a lot of bravery, a lot of courage, especially for someone who has been really rude to you. But you might actually learn that they're frustrated with you, like you're too slow, right? They might There might be something you can actually fix that would solve the incivility in a way. Um, and I don't mean fix, like fix about your personality, but just slightly change that that could make the dynamic a little, at least a little bit healthier. 